on YouTube. It's your boy Brandon back with another tutorial. Y'all, so I've been getting a lot of people that have been asking me, how do I comp land? First, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment down below what else it is that you guys would like to see. If you want me to do more tutorials, more vlogs, whatever it is, just go ahead and comment down below and subscribe. Share this, this video with as many people as possible. That way that they can get the same value that you are. And uh, again, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, like. All right, so first thing is first. The way that I do it is I find buyers first. This is the way that Elijah Bryant showed us you find builders first all right you find a market where builders are building and then you find builders that are buying lots you reach out to them get their criteria including their price so at that point you don't really have to comp you just make offers under their price if the seller agrees bam you make some money now it doesn't always work like that you know you might come across a lot that seems like a deal and your builder doesn't want it so in that case you can find more builders other builders actually i already created a video called finding buyers and sellers go ahead and watch that video and it'll show you how to get builders now this is how i comp land first i use prop stream which i have a seven day free trial link below in my bio okay it's under integrity data go ahead and click that and get your seven day free trial prop stream so prop stream i log in let's see if i have any addresses any lots i think this might be a lot uh, let's just Cape Coral out. Bam. <clears throat> I like to zoom out, see where it is. So my builders over here are spending about ninety thousand down here, about thirty five forty up here. Okay. So how do I comp land if I don't have builders or if my builder doesn't want it? First thing I do, details comparables this is why prop stream is key y'all very easy it's right here i like to do the last you know three to six months give or take and then uh, let's change this to vacant land so we can see that lots now from one to you know all it's it's in order from the closest <laughs> so these two are the closest lots that have sold within look like, at this one was in november this one was in december 4538 now are these similar lots 10,000 square feet 12 this one's actually a little bigger and sold for a little less now this new construction right here this is a great thing so let's open this this means that a builder purchased a lot and built the house and then sold it all right if we go to mortgage transactions we'll see that dr horton per, uh, built the house now jj investments is dr horton's um bigger company that buys all the lots and then from there they get transferred over to dr horton so that um they can build right so we see right here jj investments purchased this lot for fifty five thousand. okay and it looks like it's on a main road yeah so now we know a builder has spent fifty five thousand in that area okay now if i come and look at these I'm really looking to see which lots were purchased by builders. Florida SL LLC. That might be a builder, it might not be. Now they have a ton of lots, so they probably are. Okay. Kind of like JJ Investments. They just buy lots and then they pass it off to their builder, DR Horton. Now, Florida uh, 635, which I have them, they are Miranda's parent company and a couple others, I believe, also. But. Yeah, if we can get in contact with this person, they're buying lots. Now they spent forty-five thousand, so that's about ten thousand less than Dr. Horton did. How about this one right here? So again, we're really looking to see which lots were sold to builders. Florida Building Lots, Link. They got seventeen, so it's a smaller company, which is still good. Sometimes these smaller companies are more hungry. They got a deal, though. I'm not gonna lie. They spent you know thirty-eight thousand on this lot. Actually, I'm not even sure because it looks like it's been passed around. Anyways, let's keep going. So 36, 36, and these might be in purchased by builders also. DR Horn, see? Exactly. They spent 36, so they spent 55 on the other one, now they spent 36 on this one. So you're getting the, the point here. Somewhere between, you know, 35 to 55 in this area, it's possible to sell. Probably not in the 50s, because as you see, there really hasn't been any that I've sold in the last couple months for that, that high. We really have 38, 45, 36, 42, 42. Ultimately, a builder would be willing to spend somewhere between, you know, 35 to 45 on a lot in this area. 
So at that point, you're just making offers under that price. All right. I'd make an offer for like 30,000. And if they say, give me 35, okay, that's fine. And at that point, <clears throat> I'm reaching out to these builders. <coughs> reaching out to these builders, see how much they'll pay for it, and try to sell it to them. Another way you can comp, Zillow. So I like to click on buy. Cape Coral, we can leave that because that's where we're looking. Now I like to change this to sold. This, we're going to deselect all this. We're going to put lots in land. We're going to apply that. Over here, we're going to put sold in the last 90 days. Apply. Now, like I told you, look at it, 80,000, 90,000 down here. And that's how much you're spending up here, 40, 49. Now, let's zoom in. Up here, there's been a lot of lots sold within the last 90 days. But, again, 41, 38, 38, 35, 25. 32, 38, 47, 49. Okay, we do have one here that's quite a bit more, but that's the oddball. All right, and we need to, because a lot of times you'll reach out to sellers and they'll say, oh, this one just sold for 75,000. You know, we need to tell them why it sold for that much and why theirs won't. Okay, and explain to them, yeah, that was an oddball. Honestly, the majority of them are selling between 34 to 39. That's what I would say 34 to 39, 34 to 40. Right. Hopefully, I can get a builder to buy for 45, something like that. All right. Ultimately, that's how you comp land. All right, y'all. Look to see what prices they have sold over the last 60 to 90 days, and really, you want to see which lots have sold to builders or LLCs. Okay, not to retail, but to builders. So we got a builder here. We got an LLC here. We got another LLC here. These are all LLCs, okay? This is not, though. Man, that's not an LLC. This is an actual person. Oh, no, this is the... Okay, yeah. This was a uh, DR Horton. They built the house. This was the $55,000 one. Now, this was back... This was 2022. So you can already see they were... They've been in, in Cape Coral for a while. And they dropped their prices. They were like, you know what? We need to spend a little less. And they probably realized that. They were going crazy with these prices. So things are definitely starting to stabilize a little bit more, which is a good thing. So, y'all, that's how y'all comp. Again, go ahead and comment down below what else y'all want to see. Like this video if it, if it was value for you and subscribe to the channel. Please share my channel too. I really want to help people out and get people this value um, that I'm offering. God bless y'all.